Hey there from Hong Kong. Hey there, hi there, ho there. Uh, I just wanted to share a very cool package that arrived today. Resistors. Dump load resistors. I use Morningstar as my charge controllers, and I also use Morningstar as my dump load controllers. So this unit here, I don't know if you can see that, this is 1,800 watts at 0.321 ohms. So at 24 volts, a 24 volt battery bank, this will burn off 1,800 watts. I normally use on my system as a dump load, I will use a 1,800 watt at 0.321 ohm water heater element. So... I will make hot water with the extra power that my system makes. So if I've got 1,500 uh, 1, watts of solar panels going in, I will have a, a TS60 PWM dump load controller just for the solar panels that will dump into this, or that will go into the water heater. And if I have uh, 1,200 watts or two 600 watt wind turbines, which is 1,200 watts, I will still have another Morningstar TS60 PWM dump load controller, which would go to a second unit. So I would have two, but not here, that would go to two water heater elements. If those water heater elements malfunction, I need redundancy. So I will have two. And if you look over here, I've got... It came from this one here, and then inside this box here, I've got my second. So that, that's, a, that's two. And now this is the first test of the system for the 1,800s. Um, I've got a friend in the USA, uh, um, SD in Portland, Oregon, and he's got like... Everything he says, oh, I've got this uh, wind turbine, it's 2,000 watts. So I had some 1,000 watts made. And if my friend needs some, like, 2,000 watt dump load, we've got these. I, I can use two, because I've actually bought four of these. They're four 1,000 watts. So it's 4,000 watts at 24 volts. So, but put that over there. So, this is my redundancy. If the water heater elements die, or the calcium, the lime, eats it up and it just doesn't work anymore, it will revert to this. This is my backup. I'll have a relay, whatever it is. I mean, I will put it in. But this resistor, which is huge, it is 20 and 1 8, which is 51 centimeters. And approximately, what's, what's the diameter? It's uh, about three and three quarters, or I, I don't know, about seven, seven hundred and fifty mil. It just—it's a big unit, so I will have two, four, whatever it is. But I found the factory that has all the UL CSA. Uh, C E T U V M S C. I mean, U K. Everybody's got these. Have the proper certifications. I need re redundancy because when I'm out on my boat and I'm 300 miles offshore, things kind of go crazy. I do not have a personal Jesus that's going to fly in with a helicopter and say, "Hey, Ellen, <laughs> you need a few dump load resistors." No, I've, I've got these. They're they're here. They'll be part of my system. And as you can see, the width, the 300 watt resistors that you buy on eBay and all that, and there's so many people say, oh my god, I bought these, these dump load resistors, I put them in parallel, and the, the damn thing started on fire. Well, I can't have that. I, I will not have that. So I've purchased these, and they are certified. They have everything that I need. Um, money is is important but <laughs> safety for me and my boat is even more of a higher value and that's why I've had these made so I just wanted to share this with you and for all those my Heineken 
is just a lighter shade of green than these are. But they're a fantastic resistor, and I'm really, really happy I found them. I know a lot of people want the, the cheapest, the most inexpensive way to go for a dump load resistor, but my battery bank costs way too much money, and my safety is much more important than buying from eBay and saving a few bucks. So I hope this will inspire folks to buy the right equipment and have redundancy on an off-grid system. Redundancy is a good thing. There's nothing wrong with it. So Alan from Hong Kong signing off with a Heineken and a whole bunch of really cool dump load resistors. Be good, be safe, be well. Bye-bye.